Hello, hello, and welcome to my new venture. So, if you've taken a look at certain server cases and HTPC cases, you would have seen that there's a little LCD at the front, which shows you status information and other useful little tidbits. Well, I've decided to build my own at a fairly low cost, based on the schematics available at LCD Smarty. So, the first thing you need is a screen. So you could probably buy one of these and that's a 16 character 2 line display HD 44780 compatible they also come in other sizes such as this one which is quite a bit bigger this one is a 20 character by 4 line display so what I did was I soldered header pins to it you don't have to do this but it, it makes it more convenient Another thing you will probably need is a 25 pin D shell connector to connect to the parallel port. Um, if you've chosen to use header pins, you'll also need a header socket, like so. And some ribbon cable would be nice, or some other cable with a lot of stranded conductors in it, because you will need to connect to all 16 pins of the display. So, what I've done is I've cut away some very, very old cable. This you might recognize as floppy disk drive cable or IDE cable. Um, another thing you will probably need is a potentiometer to set the LCD contrast. However, I've gotten away just by using some fixed value resistors. And so what you need to do is build a cable based on the schematics available at LCD Smarty. So what that does is it hooks all of the lines to your parallel port so you can use your parallel port to communicate with your display. So if you see here, that's one I prepared earlier. It's very, very messy as you can see. I don't think you can see that all that clearly. There are some resistors in there to set the LCD contrast and just a whole bunch of cables and I've just put sticky tape around it to make it nice and clean. Now in the LCD Smarty documentation you will also need to power your LCD display and you can't do that through your parallel port. Some people have hacked up a Molex connector inside. I've gone for a much more simple approach and I've taken my 5 volts from USB. And so the other side is just a connector, 16 pins for your LCD and you just plug it in like so, plug it into your parallel port and you've got yourself a little display. If you run the accompanying LCD Smarty software on your computer you can have it display things like time, temperature, RSS feeds and so on which is kind of nifty. Um, and so in my case one cable wasn't quite long enough so I also built a little extension cable. If you've ever soldered onto these um, a ribbon cable you'll know how annoying this is however there we go and uh, let's see it in action so this one here is on my headless system so I've got no monitor whatsoever hooked up to this system um, it's just a system that I use to run my experiments on and as you can see um, it's displaying some vital statistics such as uptime free space on hard disks, hard disk temperature, CPU utilization, RAM utilization and so on and so forth. So it's quite a useful display for just keeping an eye on the system just to make sure that it's still alive, it's still running and there's nothing um, untoward going on um, say out of disk space or out of RAM. So it, it's quite a handy uh, useful tool especially when you don't have a monitor on it. However you can use it to do other things like display um, track titles from Winamp and so on so it, it's quite nifty and interesting to have and I guess not that many people in the world have it though if you do have an HTPC you'd probably already know all about this okay so that's all a bit old-fashioned as you can see um, parallel ports are not really uh, very common on newer PCs and not available on other machines altogether. So there is something you can do about that. So um, the LCD modules themselves are not very expensive. They range from anywhere from $4 to $16. So it's fairly affordable. So I bought myself a whole lot of them to play around with. Um, the other way you can do it without a parallel port, of course, is use a um, USB port or a serial port. So in my case, you'll probably recognize one of these. It's an Arduino board quite a useful board. All you have to do is grab yourself an LCD, 
interface it to the Arduino by making your own little circuit board. As you can see, I've used Vero board. I've got fixed resistors to set the contrast again and a whole batch of ugly green wiring. So if you plug it all in um, what, and you load up a sketch, you can find this sketch online. It emulates a um, matrix orbital LCD display with your Arduino and it interfaces via serial so you tell your uh, LCD smarty to talk to the port via serial uh, to a matrix orbital display so as you can see here um, this is just the sketch running it says LCD ready so nothing quite happening there let me just get my LCD smarty loaded up and I'll show you it running. So an another thing you can do if you are not interested in uh, building your own little adapter board um, this is a little bit messy but anyway if you're not built interested in building your own adapter board you can go for one of these a LCD uh, keypad shield um, you won't use the keypad as such, but you will um, get the screen working. It works much the same. However, it's a little bit more expensive than just buying your own uh, LCD and interfacing it yourself. So let me just find the matrix orbital driver. I've got it on COM70 at 19200 BPS. And so this is from my other system moment so not sure if you can see that but there we go so this one you're using all um, all serial connection you are powered by USB it's a lot more convenient but unfortunately it also means that it's more expensive so now you do need to invest in an Arduino board and uh, also it, it seems to be a little bit slower and refreshing so for the um, for the parallel interface it costs barely nothing past um, past actually buying the display I got my displays for about four dollars each um, the, the cable I just chopped out of spares which I had left over the D-shell connectors maybe 20 cents 30 cents um, in bulk resistors I had lying around spare and USB leads I just chopped them up from old dead appliances or broken cables so a uh, cheap LCD